This podcast is about memory and adolescence. We are going to focus on the difference between long-term and short-term memory, as well as strategies for memorization and the Leaving Certificate program. But before we get into that, let's play a game. Can you try and remember these words for us? Butterfly, xylophone, basketball, restaurant, watermelon. There are three main types of memory. Sensory memory, short-term memory, and long-term memory. Long-term memory can be split up into explicit, implicit, declarative, procedural, episodic, and semantic memory. The prefrontal cortex takes up about 30% of the brain. Its functions include directing and maintaining attention, keeping ideas in mind, rational activity, our sense of self, our capacity for empathy and feeling guilty, planning and higher order activities, and short-term memory. Short-term memory is the capacity for holding a small amount of information in mind in an active, readily available state for a short period of time. It can be described as the ability to remember and process information at the same time. Short-term can only hold roughly seven items or less at a time before converting to long-term memory or discarding the information completely. An active mind can hold short-term memory items for anything between 15 seconds and one minute. Will you quit it? What? I'm trying to swim here. What, the ocean isn't big enough for you or something like that? Huh? You got a problem, buddy? Huh? Huh? Do you? Do you? Do you? Want a piece of me? Yeah, yeah. Ooh, I'm scared now. What? Wait a minute. Stop following me, okay? What are you talking about? You're showing me which way the boat went. A boat? Hey, I've seen a boat. It passed by not too long ago. It, it went, um, wait, this way. It went this way. Follow me. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. What is going on? You already told me which way the boat was going. I did? Oh, uh, no. If this is some kind of practical joke, it's not funny. And I know funny. I'm a clownfish. No, it's not. I know it's not. I'm, I'm so sorry. See, I, I suffer from short-term memory loss. Short-term memory loss. I don't believe this. No, it's true. I forget things almost instantly. It runs in my family. Well, I mean, at least I think it does. Um, hmm. Where are they? Can you remember the five words? Butterfly, basketball, xylophone, restaurant, and watermelon. Long-term memory is the final stage of the dual memory model in which data can be stored for long periods of time. Long-term memory actually decays very little over time and can store a seemingly unlimited amount of information almost indefinitely. The medial temporal lobes are devoted to hearing and house the primary auditory cortex. They also have specialised visual areas for recognising detailed objects. They also contain the hippocampus and the amygdala, which control long-term memory and emotional regulation. The Leaving Certificate, as you all know, is a set of exams that almost every adolescent must take. Memory is a very important part of succeeding in these examinations. The Leaving Certificate has often been referred to as the memory test, as it requires students to learn off pages and pages of notes in order to perform well. This method is called rote learning, which is the technique of memorization based on repetition. The Leaving Cert exerts great stress on students, forcing them to learn and memorize pages of work. Many different researches have been carried out and people wonder whether or not this type of assessment is good enough for such a serious exam. A recent young scientist experiment was carried out based on the Leaving Certificate and the Memory Test. Strategies for memorization. Acronyms. Using the first letters of each word to create another word. For example, FEMTAS. Brackets, exponential, multiplication, division, addition and subtraction. Acrostics. Creating a sentence out of an acronym. For example, Richard of York gave battle in vain. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo and violet. Rhyme. Creating rhymes to assist with remembering. For example, hey diddle diddle, the median's the middle, you add then divide for the mean. The mode is the most common one that you see and the range is the difference between. Taste. Chewing a particular flavour of gum or drinking a particular flavour of water while studying. 
then chewing or drinking that same flavour during the exam can help to improve memorisation. Picture association. Using pictures or diagrams to remember points instead of words. Can you remember the five words now? 